tone for the rest of the day, including your diet schedule. Your morning rituals determine whether you will eat a large or small lunch and whether your body will use up all the calories or store them just in case. In this video, you'll find scientific proof that there is a connection between your habits and imbalances in the body that cause extra weight gain. 7. You refuse to eat a big breakfast Time of day when we eat is much more important than what we eat. Scientists from Tel Aviv University proved that a diet that includes a big breakfast and a light dinner is extremely effective. You might be surprised, but it can encourage greater weight loss than other popular diets based on frequent and light snacking. In addition, a high-energy breakfast helps people suffering from diabetes. Such a way of eating decreases their need for insulin. The research involved 18 men and 11 women with an average age of 69. They all suffered from both obesity and type 2 diabetes. These people were divided into two groups. The first group followed the B diet, breakfast diet, and had three meals a day, a substantial breakfast, a moderate lunch, and a light dinner. The second group ate according to the 6M diet, six meals diet, which is traditional for weight loss and diabetes. The main idea behind this diet is to have six light meals throughout the day, including three snacks. After three months, each member of the first group, the BD diet group, had lost an average of 11 pounds. At the same time, people from the second group, the 6M diet group, put on about three pounds. All this is possible because the speed of our metabolism varies at different times of the day. It's better to consume your largest amount of calories in the morning when your metabolism is working more quickly. The main conclusion that scientists have drawn is that you should never refuse to eat a breakfast that's high in calories. As for your lunch, it should be of medium size and your dinner should be light. 6. You don't walk in the sunshine. Sunlight literally burns fat, at least the white, also known as bad, fat tissue. This type of fat is considered bad because of its ability to store calories. Ideally, you burn those calories for energy. If not, white fat accumulates and results in all types of nasty things from obesity and diabetes to heart disease. Researchers at the University of Alberta in Edmonton, Canada conducted an experiment to prove that white fat deposits become smaller when you are exposed to sunlight. The explanation for this is that when the blue light wavelengths that come from the sun penetrate your skin, they reach the fat cells. After that, the lipid droplets become smaller and leave the cells. To put it another way, when you spend a lot of time in the sun, your cells stop storing so much fat. This discovery is a real breakthrough, and it partially explains why people gain weight during the winter, when there is a lack of sunlight. Just keep in mind that spending too much time in the sun isn't a perfect idea either. Always be sure to wear sunscreen. 5. You forget to drink a glass of water after waking up. The body of an adult is made up of 55% to 60% water, according to scientists. If this percentage is lower, a person may have problems with their health. Here's an interesting fact. An adult man contains more water in his body than an adult woman. Also, people with excess weight have less water in their system than slimmer individuals. In regards to the percentage of water in the body, drinking a glass of water after waking up is a really good idea. When you wake up, your body is pretty dry after a long period without water. You may not feel thirsty, but your body really needs to drink. If you drink a couple of glasses of water in the morning, you rehydrate your body. In return, your digestion improves. Moreover, water accelerates the process of metabolism, which decreases the risk of getting fat. It also helps the body to get rid of toxins. Chris Bailey, the author of articles on productivity, decided to conduct an experiment. He made it a habit to begin his morning with a glass of water. He tried to drink no less than 16 ounces of water right after he woke up. 
As a result, he managed to reduce his body fat from 17% to 10%. 4. You don't exercise Along with the obvious advantages of burning calories and increasing the speed of your metabolism, morning exercises can help you decrease your appetite. A 2013 experiment conducted at Northumbria University and published in the British Journal of Nutrition revealed some amazing facts. Researchers led by Dr. Emma Stevenson and PhD student Javier Gonzalez found out that people who were used to doing exercises before breakfast ate less food throughout the day. They didn't experience any need to consume unnecessary calories to compensate for their earlier activities. The explanation is probably in the waking up effect of exercises. People who don't exercise in the morning try to relieve the stress of waking up by eating. The research revealed another surprising fact. The scientists found out that when people exercise when hungry, they are 20% more efficient in terms of losing weight than when they exercise during the day. 3. You save delicious dishes for lunch or dinner. If you can't resist eating sweet or baked foods, do it in the first part of the day. This is another conclusion that researchers from Tel Aviv University came to. A muffin eaten in the morning will add fewer inches to your waist than the same muffin eaten in the evening. Besides, eating a piece of cake in the morning may even help you lose some weight. The participants of the previously mentioned research project who had a breakfast high in carbohydrates and proteins found it easy to stick to their diet. As for those who had to eat a low-calorie, and therefore low-carb, breakfast, they had a tough time fighting their cravings for a yummy bar of chocolate. Moreover, those participants who had a big breakfast that included a treat, a piece of cake, some chocolate, or a donut, had lowered levels of ghrelin, the hunger hormone. When people stick to a strict diet, they are usually pretty hungry, aren't they? In such cases, the level of ghrelin rises, which makes your metabolism slower. If you want to avoid this situation, eat a big breakfast with lots of variety, and don't shy away from dessert. 2. You read the news in the morning The fear and irritation that you might feel when you scroll through the morning news can have a negative effect on your health and lead to weight gain. It's especially true if you suffer from a chronic lack of sleep. This is because long-term stress causes stem cells to turn into fat cells. This was proved by a study published in the journal Cell Metabolism in 2018. Researchers, led by Mary Turiel, assistant professor of chemical and systems biology at Stanford University School of Medicine in California, explained how this works. Stress causes the body to produce hormones, which then help the body to adapt to a new environment. If it is short-term stress, new fat cells are not formed. If it is long-term stress, the body brings into action the process of saving calories. In this case, even if you start eating less, you won't be able to lose weight until the stressful situation ends. 1. You underestimate the help of your pets. A dog can become a good companion during your morning run, and a cat can make stretching or yoga much more relaxing and enjoyable. The results of a people-pets exercising together study have shown that it's actually easier for pet owners to control their weight. They are less likely to miss their workout than those people who exercise alone without a furry companion. Besides, communication with a pet and caring for it can give you positive emotions that reduce the level of stress. Otherwise, to get rid of this stress, you would most likely try to soothe it with a muffin or some chocolate chip cookies.